For many years, engineers in the automotive industry have struggled to test and validate all their measurements on one instrument. They would use CAN analyzers to decode the data from the CAN bus on the vehicle. They used an oscilloscope to obtain various other analog measurements. Once all the data was gathered, post-processing would have to be done in order to align the data and perform various analysis. Hello, my name is Dami Shebu and I'm an application engineer with Yokogawa Corporation of America. Today, I'll be going over a very interesting topic. I'll be discussing how a function generator combined with a data acquisition can be used as a great systems level tool for reverse engineering, validating, and debugging in the automotive industry. In the next series of videos, I'll be using a data acquisition in combination with a signal generator and an AEM engine controller to simulate a systems validation test. We'll be using the signal generator to simulate cam and crank sensor signals for the ECU. Basically, the signal generator will be used to simulate an engine. The cam and crank signals will cause the ECU to fire its injector and ignition outputs. To avoid having to do all the post-processing and extra hassle, I'll be using the Yokogawa DL850EV scope cord to gather all of the data. The fact that the DL850EV can measure up to 24 analog channels, 256 channels of CAN decode with deep acquisition memory to perform long-term recording makes an extremely functional and versatile instrument for the automotive industry. Using this data acquisition, we'll be able to measure injective pulse width, ignition spark advance, and other such parameters. We'll also be able to observe relationships such as firing order and also fueling strategies. Besides measuring analog signals from the ECU, the CAN bus on the ECU will also transmit a set of measurements including injection time, ignition advance, engine speed, throttle position, and other ECU sensor inputs which can be displayed and recorded for long periods of time. The AEM software provided with the ECU will also display the same measurements. We'll be able to validate those measurements to our simulated and measured results on our DL850E data acquisition. Thank you for watching this video. This is the first video in a three-part series where I'll be diving further into this application. In my second video, I'll be discussing how to use a function generator to simulate cam and crank sensor signals that an ECU requires to function. In the third and last part of the video, I'll be discussing how to use a data acquisition as a full system levels tool for validating, debugging, and performing various analysis on automobiles and automotive industry. Again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact an application engineer or visit us at tmi.yokogawa.com.